guys, and welcome to another video in Drawing Essentials series. In this series, I'm going to be showing you how to draw perspective, also called foreshortening. And basically, this is just making your drawings look 3D and action-packed by having parts of characters or objects come at you out of the page or seem to recede into the distance. I have two examples that I'm going to be doing, and we're going to start with this one. And the idea for this one is this woman pointing a gun directly at the camera. And because she's pointing it directly at the camera, it's not going to come out straight from her side. It's going to have to be slightly obstructing her face or something. So that's what I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to properly place the foreshortened parts of the body and make the whole idea of foreshortening a lot less difficult. So I have this model here, this just like mannequin that we're going to work with. And um, I think I'll put in a little more detail before we go, so just hang on a second. Alright, moving on to the actual foreshortening part. Here I've indicated where the shoulder will be, and the gun itself is actually going to end up about this size and in this position. Now the thing is, we really want the gun to, we really want the arm to be pointing down slightly. So I'm going to erase the gun and show you what I mean. To make this image more dramatic, we're going to make it look like we, the camera, or the hero, whichever way you'd like to look at it, is on the ground or in a dangerous position below her as she points this gun at us. So let's try to think of the arm as 3D and make it a cone coming at us. And I'm putting these lines here so that you can think of it as 3D more. Imagine it as a cone coming straight at us but still tilting downward slightly. And then we're going to put in the gun. And here is the hand, which has ended up about the size of her face. Now that we have the basic idea down, we can go through and start polishing. We know that she's going to have her finger on the trigger, so I'm going to draw that finger in here. And then we know that the rest of her hand, the rest of her fingers other than the thumb, are going to be below her pointer finger and angled down slightly. And then there is her thumb clenched on the edge of the gun. and the palm of the hand is going to be mostly obscured by the handle of the gun, but we're going to draw it anyway so that we can get a feel for where the thing should be. Now let's draw the gun. Okay, now we have the basic idea down, and I'm going to go through and erase the lines that we don't need, and polish up the hand. Now really 
really good trick that we're going to do here is we're actually going to have the lines get larger as they come closer to us. So I'm going to go through and make these outlines thicker and darker. That just adds to the effect. for this first example, now let's move on to the second one. Now in this image we're going to have a guy running at the camera with one arm receding into the distance and one leg coming straight at us. So this picture actually has two aspects of foreshortening but I'm going to make this, uh, this effect easy for you to attain in your own drawings. So what I'm going to do first is just polish up the edges of this. And as you can see, I've made this 3D whenever possible. You can see that the side of his body is turning towards us here and turning away from us here. And uh, you can see that you can see the top of his shoulders on top of which his head is so you can tell that he is leaning towards us in a very intense run. If you draw things in 3D beforehand it makes it look a lot cooler when you put in the final lines. Okay now let's look at this arm. We're going to again do the cone approach make it look 3D. It stops here and then we have the hand, very small compared to this hand, and we will carve off an edge of the shoulder to go with the overall look of this arm. Okay, that's the arm. And now let's look at the leg. I've indicated where the hips are going to be attached to the lower body. And the trick that we're going to do here is we're not only going to have this side be longer than this side, but we're going to have his lower leg not taper off as it would normally. Because it's coming towards us, it's going to look a lot larger. Almost the size of his hip, actually and his foot will be maybe even larger than his head. Cricket, get out of the way! Cricket, come on! So maybe in this pose he is like getting ready to throw something with his hand, like a power ball or something, or maybe he could be holding a weapon in that hand, or he could just be dodging some kind of super dangerous projectile. It's totally up to you, but this is a really good pose ready for lots of action scenes. I'm sure that you could get a lot of great ideas of what to use this for. And now that we have all the basics down, I'm going to go through and give him some details. And I really urge you not to use my uh, designs for the characters that I do in my tutorials. Uh, you should experiment with your own hairstyles and outfits and put them on the characters that I show you how to draw. It will really help your confidence with drawing and you'll get better at drawing too. So uh, you should try that out. See what really cool hairstyle and outfit you can give this guy. And I'm going to give him uh, my own idea. So let's put that in. In time lapse, of course. Because this might take a while.
that is it for this video. I hope these tutorials are helpful to you guys. And don't forget to check out the other tutorials in this series, the Drawing Essentials series here. And uh, share this video if you liked it. Show other people the tips that I have here. And don't forget to take a look around my channel. I've got a whole lot of other videos that you might like. So I'll see you there.